What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back for some more Need for Speed Payback information So earlier on today we got some exclusive off-road gameplay If you haven't already seen that video the link will be down in the description But now we have some slightly bad news So to me personally this wasn't too much of a surprise I kind of guessed this quite a while ago You know we haven't seen any Toyotas in any of the trailers So I was already kind of skeptical going into this Because I was thinking well there's no Toyotas been shown They're not in full fours or anymore So are they going to be in Need for Speed? And it has been confirmed on Reddit by community manager Ben Walk that Toyota are not going to be in Need for Speed Payback. No reason was given for this, but I assume it's probably on Toyota's end because Forza hasn't got them as well, which is really, really odd to me. So this means, obviously, in the previous game, we have the GT86, the Supra, and the A86 that won't be in the next game. Those are the three cars which were in the last Need for Speed game. Now, he did say, actually, in the Reddit post that those cars aren't going to have a blank hole, that the cars will be replaced for something else um, so don't worry that it's not just going to be like three less cars in the car list they've replaced those three cars with three extra cars um, and I, I hope that they are you know of JDM equivalent because that kind of makes more sense but I think the deeper underlying issue here is why Toyota aren't in the game. I've made a video about this before, just kind of like just rambling and talking about my opinions about Toyota not being a Forza, and now to see them not in Need for Speed, this is a really weird change. I'm hoping that this is just some like weird, like PR like, development thing, where like maybe they've got new people in, like they've got new employees in, and they don't quite understand how things work, and they've just said, oh, Forza and Need for Speed need their licensing renewing, we're not going to do it, and then I just hope that's where it was similar to, um, uh, to Forza Horizon 3, where Volkswagens weren't in and they came in the next year in the next Forza, I do hope it's something like that, I do hope this isn't something permanent, because I think me and you both would like to see, you know, Supras, A86s, Celicas, all those types of things in Need for Speed games, it's very weird, because I can't think of the last Need for Speed game which didn't have a Toyota in, all of the iconic games did have Toyotas in, so it's really weird to see they're not going to be in this game, um, I don't think I'm that butthurt about it, you know, even when it was announced for Forza, it was like, oh, whatever, there's always going to be cars in the car list which fill that gap for me, um, you know, even f especially for Forza with that such big of a car list, um, but with Need Speed, like, I can almost guarantee there's going to be cars that will bre that, that will fill that gap, for example, the R32 has been seen in many gameplays, my favourite car, that's going to be in there, that can breach the gap, you know, with the GT86, I'm not sure if there's a BR BRZ been shown, but an equivalent has been shown in one of the trailers before. I think it was um, one of the E3 trailers that was shown. Um, so, you know, there is cars that can breach the gap for you if you are a certain, you know, if you're a fan of, say, one of those cars which I just previously mentioned, I'm sure there's going to be an equivalent in the game which you're going to like. I think it's just really disappointing that we're not going to have a Super or an A86, and I can't see Need for Speed being to blame here. I cannot see a world where Need for Speed and Forza were like, you know what, we don't want Toyota in the game. That makes no sense to me. From my perspective, it seems like this is on Toyota's side, and I just, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but at the same time, it's like, it's just something we're going to have to deal with, I guess. I think it's more odd than anything else. Why would Toyota not want to be in some of the most prolific racing games of all time? These are the types of games where, you know, little kids will play them, and they'll start messing around with maybe Toyotas, and they'll be like, you know what, I want this car you know, in real life one day. I mean, that's how it works for me with a lot of my cars, you know, the Lamborghini Murcielago on the Hot Pursuit 2 cover. It's always been a poster car since then. Um, I want that exact one, the yellow one with the, the um, stock 2003 rims. Uh, it's just one of those things where you play video games, you get an attachment to these cars. Uh, it's just how it is. It's even more odd because the new Supra, the FT1 concept, is actually going to come to fruition soon enough. So it can't be like a speed thing where they don't want people to be speeding in cars and stuff uh, because they've got a new sports car coming out so I don't really know where to draw the line with this it's just very weird and I just thought I'd just break the news that Toyota is not going to be in the upcoming Need for Speed game anyway what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section down below I personally think this is some of the most weirdest news I've had to break on this channel in a very long time it's just it doesn't make sense to me why they wouldn't want to be in Forza and Need for Speed both it just doesn't make any sense um, but with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace.